Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. We are on day number 11 of Vlogmas, guys. Everything is moving right along. Today I have some nice homemade mashed potato with some chives in it for you. So let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to put together. Alright, alright guys, so here's everything that I'm going to be using for these mashed potatoes here today. I have me some nice golden potatoes. And I'm going to be using a half stick of unsalted butter. I'm not going to be making a real big serving of this, so a half stick should be good. Then I have some dried uh, chives, some onion powder and some black pepper to it and that is all i'm going to be putting in my mashed potatoes i know some people put garlic but i'm not a real big garlic fan so i'm not going to be putting any of that okay guys so first things first i got my potatoes peeled and washed and then i got them inside of my pot and i just covered them with water and salted my water really well. You want to make sure that you salt your water really well so that your potatoes will have uh, flavor once you start uh, mixing it. So I got these boiling and I had them boiling for about 15 to 20 minutes. I wanted them to be as tender as possible. And you can see when I stick them they just break apart and that's what you're going to be looking for. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this aside, uh, drain it rather, and then set it aside and get ready to add my uh, butter and other else things to it. Alright, so we got our potatoes drained here, and we're going to come now and going to start adding the rest of my ingredients to this. I'm just going to come and add my butter to it. And I have my butter at room temperature so that it helps uh, it melt easier. And you can add your uh, butter to your pan with a with the half and half and bring it to a heat. But I just like to just go ahead and just add everything while my potatoes are nice and hot. So now I'm adding my onion powder. And I'm going to come in and add some of the chives to it. Now if you could find fresh chives, that would be even better. Then I'm going to come in and add a little black pepper to it. You could use white pepper if you don't want to see the, uh, the black pepper flakes inside of it. Alright, then I'm going to come and add my half and half to this. Now this is one pint of half and half. I'm only going to use about half of it. And what I'm doing here is fumbling, trying to get that little tab off of the top of it. Alright, so finally I got that off and I'm just going to add about half of this. And then I'm going to come in with my mixer. Some people come in with a potato masher first, but I find if you cook your potatoes really well, you don't need a masher. You could just come in with your hand mixer if you have one. And just start mixing it together. And you just want to make sure that that's mixed really well. 
Make sure that you don't have any chunks of potato inside of this. You want it to be nice and smooth. So I'll just keep mixing that. And I could tell right away that this was the consistency that I wanted. And that I did not have to add any more liquid to this. Alright, what I'm going to do is just come and just give it a taste. Alright, and everything tasted good. I seasoned my potatoes really well with the salt at first, so I didn't have to add any more salt to it. And I didn't have to add any other else uh, thing to it. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is just show you the consistency that I like for my potatoes. I like for it to be nice and thick like that. You see, when I turn it over, it still doesn't fall off the spoon. And I like for it to have that texture to it because if I'm adding gravy to it, it's going to thin out a little bit. And I do not like uh, really thin runny mashed potatoes. Alright. Alright guys, so there's no taste test with this other than me testing for the seasonings. But I am going to be having this with something else. And I'll be doing a taste test then. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And also hit the post notification bell. So you'll know when I upload a new video. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And until next time guys, peace.